Hi, I'm Nancy Gowan, President and Occupational Therapist of Gowan Consulting. We're a national coast-to-coast -coast occupational therapy service supporting employers and employees at sustaining stay at work and return to work. And I have a story to tell. And it's a simple story. In March 2020, most of the world locked down. Businesses sent employees home, either to try to work from home or to wait until things were safe to open up. Everyone began to understand the anxiety and worry of will illness and its impact on our day-to-day -day lives. Employees started to isolate. Child care was not available. Accommodations that would be normally available in the workplace were not available working from home. The playing field was leveled for all of us and we began to understand the grieving and loss that workers with injuries and illnesses feel when they're isolated from work. We started to understand that the feelings of anxiety of not knowing what work is available or when it would be available impacted our emotions, our feelings and our mental health. In many employees' minds, the worry chain took over. Will I be able to have a job? Will I get sick and bring home this illness to my family, to my friends? Will I be able to continue with no childcare? After isolating for a few months, businesses started to reopen, but the anxiety and the fear continued. Many felt fearful of returning into the workplace. Mental health claims are expected to skyrocket following the pandemic and have continued to grow throughout this pandemic. It was then that we knew that in order for employees to be successful at work or returning to work, that they may need some of the tools and strategies that we have used for 30 years with our return to work programs. The techniques as a return to work specialist um, have been used with our clients and were needed by many more people as they began to reintegrate back into the workplace, either virtually or in person. At Gowan Consulting, we created a simple four session program. This four session program facilitates return to the workplace using a work focused CBT approach. It's called the tips for return to work and offers a work focused CBT program in four sessions plus a booster session. It is structured, pre-designed, but customized to each employee and it's provided by an occupational therapist to assist that employee in managing the emotional process of return to work and the planning process of return to work. So what does TIP stand for? Well, the T stands for thoughts. The first session covers ways to adjust our thoughts about return to work challenge our distorted thinking with more fair and realistic thoughts and helps that employee to work on their thinking process with their homework. This I stands for integration planning. The second session is about planning that integration. How will you go back into the workplace? What tools will you need and strategies will you need when you go back into the workplace? And the homework here starts to involve some exposure work, exposing that individual back into the community and back into some work activities. The P stands for preparation and practice. This is to plan reintegration. How will I get back into the work? Will I be working virtually at at home? How will I manage my relationships with my manager, my colleagues? And how will I be able to maintain the physical distancing and the health practices so that I can be confident that I am safe, safe and healthy? And then the S stands for services and supports. What resources will you need in order to maintain and sustain that return to work? 
How do I access those resources? When I need help, how do I ask for that help? And the employee prepares a physical toolkit that they can use to return to the workplace. The program offers an extra booster session when the employee has returned to work because some of those old habits come back when we go back into the workplace and the employee is provided with more strategies and tools to be able to ensure that they can sustain that return to work successfully. This program to date has been delivered to a number of employees in many different settings and has allowed those employees to successfully go back into the workplace. It has improved tools for that work and the workers. It has reduced anxiety about work and has improved the communication with the workplace with preparation, reintegration and sustainable return to work practices. We believed in this program so much that we had our own employee go through this program to be able to help and develop the confidence that she needed. So Bonnie was off for six months. She was undergoing cancer treatments during COVID. So you can expect that she would have increased amounts of anxiety in returning into the workplace and coming back. Her insurer had planned a medical program and gradual return to work. But Bonnie's emotions were really what we needed to help her to deal with. So as she went through the TIPS program, the integration program, she developed increased confidence, set goals, figured out how to set her boundaries so that when she came back into the workplace, she could do that safely and confidently. She worked again with the occupational therapist with her booster session when she met some challenges when she was back into the workplace to be able to figure out how to keep those boundaries and how to ask for help. Bonnie's now back full time, sustaining her work, successful and excited to be back into the workplace. If you're interested in looking at this tips for return to the workplace program for your employees to help them return to or stay at work in a healthy and sustainable way, contact us at Gowan Health at GowanHealth.com. Give me a call, ask for Nancy. I'm happy to talk to you about how this program can help your employees to be more successful and confident in that return to work process. Thank you.